My name is Becca McCarran Tran, and I am a fashion designer and founder of the Future Forward Bodywear label Chroma. Ever since the beginning, Chroma has celebrated all different types of bodies on our runway shows and campaigns. So we were one of the first fashion designers to show plus size models at New York Fashion Week. Um, we've always had trans models and queer people in our shows and campaigns and worked with people behind the scenes equally that represent different communities that have been historically underrepresented in fashion. We've done so many things over the years, but we've always approached everything with a sense of experimentation. I think coming from architecture, treating the body as a site to create augmentation and enhancement I never look at the body as something that is wrong or that needs to be fixed. I guess that treatment of the body as a place to be celebrated, not a place to be fixed, is something that has always been a through line in what we do and I think separates us from other designers. I studied architecture and I worked for architects for many years and Chromat kind of evolved as something I did on the side. It was a way for me to experiment with design and basically take the design process I learned in architecture school but apply it to a smaller scale, which is the body. The best thing about Chromat for me has been collaborating with other people and me bringing what I, some idea I had, but then it, it morphs and evolves and changes and, and gets so much better than I could have ever dreamed of. She really respects your integrity as an artist and as a collaborator or, you know, and, and, and respects your vision. And so I think that's really important and that's why she's been able to establish this like really beautiful community and family of people that really care about the people that they work with, care about their message, the meaning behind their work. Finding my authentic voice or figuring out who I was, it took a lot of dredging through that messy marketing media about how women or girls should present themselves. And so I think starting Chroma, I knew from the beginning that I didn't want to only celebrate one type of beauty or have skinny white girls only in our shows. I understood the power of representation and the power of showcasing different beauty or, or showcasing people as they are authentically is a good thing and not everyone has to conform to a single way of being or presenting. So I think that from the beginning, I think I was aware of the dangers of fashion and the dangers of media representation. So I wanted to utilize Chroma as a platform and a vehicle to rewrite some of the, that narrative.